guys I'm back I'm sorry I haven't filmed in a while it's just that um, I'm sort of transitioning uh, in the beauty field of work and I didn't really have much time uh, spared to do any kind of videos um, so what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is the different types of palettes that I have um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time to go over them because I don't want this video to be way 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 too long but just some of the essential ones especially for the eyes uh, one of my favorite ones is the Naked Urban Decay Basics uh, palette, uh, which is really good to carry around with you because it's pretty lightweight. And the colors uh, within the palette are very good too. You have the white color uh, and it's slightly shimmery, which you can use to highlight under your brow as well as with uh, within your inner corner of the eyes. You have two different types of uh, transitional like highlighting colors that you can use on your eyes. You have one that's more on the yellow side and one that's more on the pink side. Then there's also uh, an excellent transitional color which is the Naked uh, 2. And this is a really good color that you can use uh, like in between um, like the, hot, the lighter color uh, to transition into a deeper color. And it's kind of like a more like like a gray gray uh, brown but more on the gray side there's also the color faint which is an excellent color to deepen out your uh, eye look to put it maybe like with in, in the corner of your eye or maybe under your eye I think it's an excellent color for that as well and if you need a black uh, color this crave is very good too and it's easy to work with uh, if you just put a little bit on your brush, um, it's slightly grayish and the more that you work with it, with the color, if you're more comfortable with uh, like working with darker colors, you can always add more and make it look deeper. So this is one of the reasons why I love this little guy. He, it's perfect to carry around in your purse. It's very lightweight. And also another palette that I like, it's the Lorac Pro palette. Um, and this is excellent because not only do you have um, uh, highlighting colors, you have the deeper colors. The first row are all matte colors and the bottom row are all uh, shimmery colors. You have a different, uh, different types of variety of looks uh, that you can create uh, with these colors. As you can see, uh, there's, there's just, just about everything here. And I absolutely love this uh, color champagne. Oh my God, it's so beautiful, especially when you put it on the lid and you blink and with the sun and you, with the light, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. There we go. So this is the Lorac Pro. It's uh, kind of like on the thinner side. Initially when I purchased this, because I purchased this online, I thought it was gonna be thicker and heavier. Well, it's kind of heavy, but not that much. But I did think it was going to be a little bit thicker, like the Naked Basics palette. But oh well. Now I have uh, the Tarte, Tartelette palette. And this one is very good as well, and I really like it. All the colors here are matte. There we go. Sorry, like I'm filming with my phone today because my other tool is not working. And... Uh, these uh, colors are just amazing. I love the way that they lay on your eye. They're just a very, they have a very creamy feel to them. I don't know, I don't know how to explain that. I really like Tarte products. Uh, it's the, it says that it's Amazonian clay matte palette. Um, so I'm not sure exactly how they make them, but anytime I bought anything Tarte, it was, uh, I always was 100% uh, satisfied with the product. Uh, the only thing is, I wasn't exactly satisfied with the blush of this palette. Uh, this is the Park Avenue Princess palette that I got for, um, it's kind of like a highlight palette type of thing. So we have the bronzer over here, which is, I find, an excellent color um, for somebody fair skinned. Um, to to maybe like contour your face, like I'm, I'm wearing it today here. Um, and sort of like blend it into the hairline, you know, uh, to sculpt your, uh, to define your face as well uh, at the, uh, on your, I don't know, like the, the chin part. <laughs> I don't know what to say that. Um, so the blush here, I find, even if I'm fair skinned, it's a bit too light. Like I'm not really sure what, 
what skin tone this blush would go with because it has so much white pigment in it it, it just doesn't doesn't look like a blush too much maybe it's for something more of a specific uh, look maybe like more runway um, something like that because I find it has way too much white in it to be uh, like a blush that would be worn on everyday basis uh, there's also here the highlights, uh, which I like. It has a perfect amount of like golden tones um, with beiges and a little bit of pink and the amount of shimmer even in it. It's exactly to the point of a highlight that I have that I love to wear. I'm wearing it today right now as well, but I'm not sure if you could tell since I'm filming with my phone. And the last uh, palette that I wanted to talk to you about today is the Stila palette for the lips and the cheeks they always say they also say that you could use it on cheeks as a creamy um as a creamy like cheek blush but i'm not really a fan of creamy like cheek things there we go so this are this is the colors they're very well pigmented and i find that uh we do get a good variety of colors within the palette it's definitely something um, that uh, I like to have, uh, like to go, um, like if there's a wedding or something like that for touch-ups, this is perfect. Um, you have anything within it, the pink colors, uh, something a little bit more deeper, and uh, you have like an orange here. It's something that you can mix and match and you can create other colors as well. Um, so I, I really, really like uh, this palette. The only thing is those colors, they're all um, creamy colors. Because lately I've been into the matte side. I mean, you can always put trans translu translucent powder on top to make it matte. Um, but I mean, those colors are creamy. What uh, was my recent purchase, it was the... NARS Bangkok, uh, where is it? It's uh, a small lipstick. I can't really, I don't remember where I put it. <laughs> it's very small and it's, uh, did I put it back in my makeup case? It's ideal for like small lips, which I have. I don't have big lips. And um, where is this color? I really don't know where I put it. Oh well. Um, it's an excellent uh, matte color. It's called Bangkok. And this is what I'm wearing today. I absolutely love it. So this is the end of my video. If there's any kind of uh, comments or questions that you have for me, feel free to comment below. And I'll be sure to answer your questions, okay? So thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry I haven't filmed in a while. And uh, have a good day. Bye.